I didn't see you. I was so engrossed in reading my book. I'm glad that you have had a chance to join us today. As we all gather around the fire. The fire. <laughs> all right. So, just some updates. Let's see. Let me turn down the music a little bit. There we go. Okay, so... I just did this whole fireside, old-timey speak thing with the elementary, and it's a little in my brain right now. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, take today and share with you some of the changes that are going to be happening to our junior high electives. And um, so right now you are required to do a PE once a week, and to pick either STEM or art to come to. And we are going to shift it up just a little bit because we have gone backwards in our COVID-19 plan, right? Um, maybe the junior high, maybe you guys don't know this because you're in junior high, but for a while we had some elementary students showing up to school and now because COVID numbers are at like an all time high, um, we are gone back. In fact, let's check the COVID numbers. Here we are on the Answer Special website. Let's go take a look at what the COVID-19 numbers are doing today real quick. Okay. Let's go to USA. And let's go to Idaho. See here, this is not a very happy wave going on here. People are afraid that it's going to keep going up as the weather gets colder. People spend less time outside, they have more time hanging out with each other. All right, I don't want to spend too much time doing this, but where is Idaho? Um, there we are. Yeah, so you can see here. These are the daily cases that we are actually having. Um, we have more cases now than we've ever had. So it's the most dangerous it's ever been right now. So, you know, we were hoping that things would be getting better, but it's actually the worst it's ever been right now. So it's really important that everyone wear the masks and everyone have our social distance. And that's why we are social distancing school. We are continuing on with our plan to stay distant for a while. Okay, so um, what we wanna do is we want to, um, we want to change up the way we do electives so that they are more of a proactive, you get to do stuff kind of a thing, right? Um, So that means that you get to pick more of your own, um, more of your own stuff. Okay, hold on, just getting teacher text here. Let me turn this all off. There we go. Okay, so um, for those of you who remember last year, we did some um, uh, choose your own electives, right? It's going to be like that for everyone. But it's going to be a little different and easier in that we're not going to have any kind of like competition to who can fill out these proposals and all. You just fill out the proposals and then if we accept your proposal, boom, you're doing it, right? Easy. Um, you're going to just, it's going to be really simple. All you have to do is just take one picture, like, a, you know, and then write three, four sentences. This is what I did today. And like, that's it. And it can be anything that really kind of excites you or, or whatever. You'll show up, you'll, sh you'll come to like once a week uh, share out session where you'll get feedback from people, you'll talk to um, other students, you'll get advice from myself, from Anne. Um, it's gonna be like super easy and super fun to do some of your own stuff. So I just wanted to, you know, 
to take today to kind of explain some of that, answer some questions, go over some possible ideas, things like that. I want you to start thinking about it because this is going to launch um, in a week or two. And we've kind of come to like an end of the COVID-19 classes. Um, I'm not really, sh- there's not like uh, a ton more that I can do. Uh, next week we are going to do a little lab on gloves, you know, but we've done masks, we've done social distancing, we've talked about numbers, we've interviewed people, um, we've talked about some of the big realities of COVID-19, but it's important that we, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's kind of, that's like, I've kind of, honestly, honestly, I've kind of run out of ideas here. <laughs> like, I feel like I've kind of covered all of the, the information, and while the disease is still ongoing, um, there's not really much left we can do from our point of view. You know, we just have to keep social distancing and we have to keep um, wearing our masks. And I know you guys know this. So um, we just kind of get everyone else to do it too, you know? So, okay. So I want to go over, um, let me pull up my internet here again. Okay. So not coronavirus. This is um, our elective idea catalog. This is something that we gave you guys last year. Um, And I just wanna go over it kind of item by item to just give you some ideas of like, uh, these are things that you can do, okay? So the way it will work is you can do anything that you want, any project that you want to do, totally up to you. If you can't think of something you want to do, then this is going. Then you just pick something from this list and do it. Okay. So I just want to go over the list and hopefully it gives you some ideas. These are not like you don't have to do them exactly the way these are laid out, but I mean you guys get it, right? This is an ideas list, right? This is not. Okay, you got it. So 3D printing, we have a 3D printer at school. It needs to be fixed a little bit, but we worked with that last year. You can print some cool stuff. Android app development that you can program your phones. I actually have a ton of experience uh, doing that and I can help you make your own apps. And I think that there is now a development tool for programming uh, iPhone apps too. So if that is your thing, we can research that. Astronomy, looking at big giant things in the sky, right? Uh, The auction project, there is gonna be an auction this year and if you wanna help create some piece of art that people will spend real money on to raise money for answer, that is um, a real big step towards being an actual artist. So you can help with that. Book making and restoration, literally making a book, you know? that you could fill with drawings or you can fill with uh, poetry or whatever. And that would be a crazy good gift for someone. Like when you give them a book, they're like, oh wow, look, a beautiful book. And you're like, I made that? Mind blowing. Maybe you have a good book you wanna make that's inside of you and you wanna write it down. Maybe you wanna write a novel, poetry, short stories, comic books, whatever. You can write that learn how to write calligraphy oh hello clara glad that you are back oh dagny and lucas too hey guys um calligraphy drawing maps and stuff like that cheese making we had someone make cheese last year and it was so cool and super delicious he made like cheesecake cheese sticks just cheese it was it was awesome uh, maybe you want to learn how to dance. What are some of the things I wrote here? Hip hop, ballet, swing, tap, any kind of thing. You just want to like learn. I want to learn uh, some dance you saw on TikTok, or you want to like do Michael Jackson's Thriller. I don't know. You can learn it. Want to be a DJ? Want to do doll making? Energy conservation is a big super thing right now. Do you want to go fishing and just like do you for school? want to go fishing and then just like take a picture and be like this is the fish i caught today or i didn't catch any fishes today and like that's it just get better at fishing 
you can do that. All right? You want to put together a whole gallery of your artwork? Do that. Graphic design is one that is real big right now. We can teach you to draw on the computer. You can use Photoshop, Illustrator, whatever. Um, do you want to learn a language? The example I have here is Japanese, but like I would be totally into learning French. That's something I want to do. Uh, I know we have a Spanish program at school that you could like dive into, but there's all kinds of like free ways of like learning language. Um, jigsaw puzzle crafting. Holy cow, I don't even remember putting that on the list. Make your own jigsaw. That would be an amazing gift also. Uh, journalism. Put together your own newspaper or your, your own blog or your own magazine or your own TV news show. Learn to juggle. Just learn to juggle. That's something you could do. Karate, kayaking. I, we had last year, we had some people make boogie boards to surf the Whitewater Dam. So you could do that. Build your own stite or, or traditional kite. Oh my God, I want to do that. That's a project I want to do. I want to make a kite. I'm going to do that. I'm gonna make a kite. Learn to knit, kombucha brewing, okay, cool. Locksmithing, I I know how to grind keys and pick locks. Um, just visual arts, do you wanna to learn to like um, paint? Do you want to sculpt? Do you want to throw pottery? All that kind of stuff. Make your own movies, we had a group do that last year. Uh, music videos, practice music instruments. That'd be, you know, I have a trombone that I've been wanting to learn. Um, origami, um, photography, podcasting. We had a group do three quarters of podcasting and they produced tons of shows. They got really good at it. They were super cool. Poetry, poi, spinning fire with your hands. Um, invent a product. Make a, so puppetry. We had someone make puppets last year. It was really cool. Do a live radio show. Form a rock band. And we didn't have any bands, but we did have some students who um, who recorded some songs that they wrote. So that was pretty cool. Like the singing. We have rock climbing, sewing, snowshoe construction. You can make snowshoes and go tromp around in the mountains on your snowshoes. Learn to skateboard, go skiing, slacklining, software engineer. If you want to like make your own pro your video game, make your own video game, we can do that. Songwriting. Uh, we had a group that did that. Spa products. We had a number of groups do spa, spa products. That was a lot of fun. Stand-up comedy, uh, street wall hall art. If you like you know that Simon did that beautiful mural in of of food in the uh be, in the hallway between the kitchen and the and the um the gym where we eat lunch maybe you want to put on a play maybe you want to create a tv show maybe you want to learn to make your own video game or video production we we did video product, production last year a couple of guys uh, edited videos together it was pretty cool woodworking you know, want to build a chair or a desk, you can do it. Okay, so I just want you guys to like, think about what are some things that you would like to do, okay? Um, you don't have to um, do any of these on this list, but I want you to start thinking, oh, this is going to be a, um, this is how we're gonna do electives from now on. And the reason that we're, we're doing this way, you know, we. We created these like very simple um, art classes and STEM classes because we were just getting started with the year. And now that we are understanding a little bit more and more about what the online reality of school is going to be, we're going to kind of focus in and get us back to doing what ANSWER does really well, which is um, uh, empowering our students to take control of their own education. And that's what we want for you. So what is it that you really are passionate about? 
What is it that you are excited about? How do we collaborate with those kinds of things and get you doing those kinds of things, okay? Um, so that is it, honestly. Do we have any questions? You can type it in chat. Otherwise, I'm just gonna like hang out here and, you know, just do some cool STEM stuff. Is there anything that you guys would like to see? Like, do you want us to, do you want me to do some coding? You want me to do some, let's see what we got on mrincorvia.com. Let's go explore mrincorvia.com. Where is it? There we are. Okay, mrincorvia.com. So let's see, I think I put up some new links here recently. Ah, we did, so we did simple rockets with the um, the junior high, I mean the elementary the other day. In fact, that would be a fun thing to do. You want me to, um, let me fire up, turn up the music here. Boop. Let me fire up simple rockets. Okay, sorry. Let me fire up Simple Rockets. And there it is. Let me, here we are. All right, Simple Rockets. Now this is a, um, you can go to mrincorvia.com and go to links. You can get this game. It is free with um, on your PC or you can download it for 99 cents on Android or iPhone. So let me try to we're going to try to punch the moon okay so we're going to build a rocket and we're going to try to get it to smash into the moon that is going to be our goal okay let's build our some stuff here so we want to build let's get a f mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so you have to build everything backwards. This will be the tank and the rocket that gives us some maneuverability to aim at the moon. And then we're going to put a um, detacher. Build our that will be our last stage. Okay, and now we're going to build. Let's get. Um, we need something to get into the orbit of the moon. So let's get a bigger rocket and a bigger engine. And now let's build ourselves some get up into outer space power. Fuel tanks, now engines. Okay, they don't have the bigger guy. Okay, interesting. So we want, um, okay, we're gonna do one, oh, we need to have a stage. Detacher, oh, you know what? Let me pull up the chat on my phone because I just realized I can't see, I can't see if you guys are saying anything. Here we are. Okay, so we got a detacher, and let's put this on here, and we're going to put the blasto here, and then let's do some side detachers. We'll get some big old rockets that will get us out of orbit. Belastos to fight through the uh, fight through the atmosphere. All right, we're gonna put some nose cones on top of these guys. Now let's work our staging real quick. So first stage, no, 
go down the bottom. Okay, so we got those guys, perfect. Side detachers, go. Okay, so we'll have the bottom three rockets go. Then the side detachers go. And, and then the bottom detacher, and then that launches, and then that separates, and then that. Okay, our staging is good. Let's go get to the moon, guys. So I'm gonna lock my heading up top. We are going to do full throttle. Now, once we get to, look up here in this corner, once we get to 15,000 meters, we're going to bank 30 degrees. So that is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We're gonna to bank to 30 degrees. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, blast off. Okay, so we can see our fuel going down here. We are gaining altitude. Our big giant rockets are going. Once they run out of fuel, we will detach them so that way we are no longer pushing their mass along. Okay, the higher we go, the thinner the air, the easier it will be to gain speed. So we're using these big tanks on the side and these super mega blastos to just push us through the atmosphere. Okay, so now we need to bank 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 degrees. Okay, get rid of those guys. Now we are pushing ourselves out into orbit. Let's pull our map up. So here we are. We are getting out there. So this is our trajectory, okay? If I was to just like cut the engine, right? We would just sail across this. We get to this point, and then we would fall all the way back down to Earth. Okay, so let's keep going. We want to have a very, very high orbit. So there's the moon. <laughs> that is the moon we're trying to get to. And honestly, I might be banking the wrong way, but we'll see. Okay, so we have run out of fuel. We have now launched. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this fuel to get us out to the moon. And we're going to use this fuel to get us to smash into the moon. Okay, so we want to just speed up time here. We want to get our ship to the highest point and then we'll burn into the direction we're going to create an orbit. Turn the engines off to warp. So we're gonna just increase time here. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So normal speed and we are at the height of our blast off. So we'll set this to 90 degrees and there we go. So now we're going to burn into the way we're falling. And you can see what's going to happen to our trajectory here. This is going to, you know, as we gain speed, right, the distance we're falling falls out. So we're falling, we're falling, we're falling. But what happens if we go so fast that where we're falling to misses the Earth? Whoosh! Okay, cool. So there we go. We are now have a orbit that goes around the Earth. So now we're gonna click on the moon and we're gonna find our closest approach is right here. So 
what we want to do is we want to burn when we get here. So let's go a little bit faster. Is that how it works? Okay, we are in our closest approach, so let us set and go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I had fast forward on and I was unable to control <laughs> the burn. So now, what I think we just are going to fly out into space. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. So let's, um, what did we do, guys? <laughs> so let's just fast forward and see what happens here. Yeah, look, we messed up. Goodbye, world. We have left the... So those guys are lost forever. <laughs> so... Let's, um, yes, okay, let's try this again. And this time we're gonna fly the other way. Here we go. fuel. Let's get to that highest point. We're going to use this booster to just do some orbiting since we got the extra fuel. Here we go. Big giant wacky Okay, let us um, continue onward, get to that highest point again, and continue our burn. So now we got a nice circular orbit here. So we're just prograde burning this.
Round we go, come on. Hmm. Let's see. If we do this, but that's a retro burn. So if we do that, let's just, I just have to remember how to do this. So hold on, let's do like 20 percent here so I can look at what's heck going on. So prograde burning is making it go further away. And if we burn towards this, okay, I see. So what we need to do is we need to make the, we need to make it, we need to get to our, I got it, I got it. We need to get to our parapsis, we need to get our, we need to match the orbit of the moon, and then we need to adjust using the closest approach. Got it. Okay, so let's just fast forward, fast forward. So here we're at the lowest point now, and we're going to do a, Prograde burn. We're actually kind of running out of fuel for this. <laughs> I guess I did too many experiments. counter right there. Okay, interesting. Let's speed it up. I think I did it right. So here comes the moon. Is it going to be this orbit or next orbit? Oh, here it comes. Here comes the moon. Slow down. And we are inside the realm of influence. The moon's gravity has us. That's it, boys and girls. We are on a collision course for the moon. We don't have to do anything. I didn't. I have all this extra fuel right here for maneuvering around here, but we don't need to do that. We're already on a collision course. We're gonna punch the moon. Let's go faster. We are now 125 kilometers away from the moon. We are falling into it. 50 kilometers, 50,000, 30,000, 20,000, 10,000. Let's do normal speed now. We are falling into the moon. I can zoom way out. Can we see it? Not yet. There it is. Boom. <laughs> I didn't make it in time. I have to do it under 10 hours. Ugh. Oh, well. 
Well, guys, I don't know if anyone else is still here, but just a recap. So today you are going to be, um, we're going to, I need you to start thinking about what it is you want to um, accomplish in your own junior high electives class. Okay, just turning off my chat here. There we go. So you think of what you want to do in your own junior high elective. Do you want to just play simple rockets all day? Do you want to code something? Do you want to make beautiful art? We are going to help you create those things. Okay, simple and easy. Take care, guys.